On clear nights, you can gaze up into space and see a blanket of twinkling lights. And while you may think they're stars, you could be spotting planets and not realising. And the 28th of February 2025 is a very special night for our solar system. Because there could be an extremely rare sighting of seven planets all lining up in the sky that we could see from Earth. It's called a planet parade. There are eight planets in total, and here to give us some facts on them are our solar system specialists, Dylan, David, and Eleanor. Mercury. Mercury is the nearest planet to the sun and the smallest planet in our solar system. Venus is the hottest planet in our solar system. Earth, that's the planet we live on. The average temperature on Mars is minus 85 degrees. Jupiter. Jupiter is the biggest planet in our solar system. Saturn has seven rings around it. Uranus spins on its side. Neptune is the furthest planet away from the Earth. So, you three know so much about space. I'm loving it. So in light of the planet parade, I thought that we could view it together. What do you think? Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. OK, there's someone that I want you to meet. Come on. We've come to the Sherwood Observatory, where we're meeting Damon Scotting. He's a scientist with a passion for space and specialises in taking amazing pictures of planets. Damon, I'm really excited about the Planet Parade. Can you tell us a bit about it? So Planet Parade is when four or more planets are visible in our night sky. So to visualise that, we're going to start off with our own planet, Planet Earth. OK, this is where we can view everything from. Exactly. And then what's the closest planet to the sun? Mercury. Mercury, very good. And then what comes after Mercury? Venus. Venus, nice. So let's put Venus over here, that one. Which planet is the rarest one to see? Uranus and Neptune, you're going to need a telescope because these are the hardest to see. How rare is this? Planetary parades are very rare. This particular one we haven't seen in this century, and we won't see again for at least another 100 years. Wow! So this is how they're going to be configured tonight? That's exactly right. And the reason this is so rare is because, like the Earth, we all orbit around the sun, which means for the vast majority of the time, the other planets are elsewhere. I think I can spot something that looks like Venus. Oh, but... wow, you're right. Yeah, that's Venus right now. It's not even dark, and we can still see the planet Venus. For our best chance of spotting a planet parade, we wait till it's dark. Then Damon sets up his telescopes, which will enable us to see planets 230 times bigger than the naked eye. I can't see. Oh, wow. It's crescents. I would have thought that you'd be able to see like the whole planet. It's simply because they're closer to the sun. So when we see them sometimes, we'll see them very close to sunset or sunrise. Oh, so it's only part of it's lit up? Yes. Ooh, is it pretty? Yeah. Ooh, it kind of looks like the moon. What else can we find? In the sky right there, you can see three stars, and that's Orion. Wow! Can anyone spot that bright point of light just there? Yeah. Any guesses? Jupiter. Jupiter, well done. I can see four dots around it, which I think are the moons. Wow. wow. It's perfect. You can see them with just a pair of binoculars as well. That's so cool. Is that the stripes you can see as well? Yeah, those are the bands of Jupiter, yeah. So lots of different gases make up the atmosphere, and that's what you're seeing right now. Well, we've got Venus and Jupiter, two down. Well, one of the great things about stargazing is that it's free. All you have to do is step outside and look up. But if you want to take it a step further, there are plenty of free apps that allow you to figure out exactly what you are seeing. Ooh! <gasps> wow! That way is Jupiter. Yeah, spot on. Amazing. Can anyone spot Mars in the night sky tonight? Is it that one or that the one? The reddish one. The reddish one over there? Exactly right. To get a better look, our solar specialists head up to experience the Observatory Telescope, which offers an even greater magnification, making Mars 610 times bigger than the eye can see it. It looks really red. Yeah. It's got that tiny get a red glint. OK, three planets spotted. What's next? Now we're going to look at a planet that you can't see with your naked eye and you need a telescope to see, Uranus. And the reason it is so much harder to see for a telescope is because it's so much further away than the other planet. Very small. Yeah. Teeny tiny. Looks like an ordinary star. It's a tiny blue dot. 
that makes a planet parade four planets. But if you want to try and spot seven planets lined up, then the 20th of February 2025 and the nights around it are your best bet. I had such an amazing time with this and I know that next time when I look up into the night sky, I'll have such an appreciation for what's out there, planets, stars and all.